So welcome back to Let's Talk About That. We have Ed and Cindy today. How are you guys doing? Great. Pretty good. So I know we've we've had prior guests in at, with Remax before, but you guys have a, a different dynamic. Like I want to really get into that. So what do you do in Remax? Talk a little bit about your business. Well, um, we have been realtors since, I mean, for 18 years, a little bit over 18 years. And in the past two years, we decided to build a team. So now we are part of Remax, but we have our own office. Um, we have a group of eight uh, members. And um, like I said, we started like two years ago. We, uh, the team started like years ago. Mm -hmm. It's just me and her, Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? And we were always thinking, what if? We should get what, a little bigger. Yeah, you know, a little bigger. What do we do? You know, we, we talked to uh, Remax, the owners, you know, give us any um, ideas, you know, um, your input. Mm -hmm. Advice. And advice and all that. And uh, then it just took off. So um, in the earlier days, um, as you kind of roll back, what triggered that, you know, idea of like, wow, we need to be bigger? You know, because there's realtors out there that are going kind of solo. They're kind of on their own. Sure. You guys are a team, which is a little bit different. So um, being in a team, I know that adds a little uh, contrast to like doing it by yourself. Yes. So I want to hear like, okay, so how was it when you guys started? Like as a team, it was just you two. Let's well, we're husband and wife, so working together is sometimes challenging. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, we... We actually do pretty well together, uh, working together and then going home together. Mm -hmm. But uh, we had talked about being a team for quite some time. We kicked around for probably five years before we actually set it in stone. Mm. And we hired our first person actually three years ago. And he was with us for about a year before uh, we started hiring other people. Once we started hiring other people, it was... I, I, we changer, just got huh? steamrolled. I really? mean, we, we just had, it was like once once we got the second one, we got all the rest of them. They all came but pretty there, much at one time. There had to be a little bit more involved in that because I'm sure you have some kind of system that you had in place for onboarding training. Like these realtors that came in, were they just naturally talented or is or did you guys just have synergy <clears throat> with the right people? How did that work? Most of our, our realtors are uh, uh, new realtors. Mm -hmm. So, of course, they require a lot more time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we put something in place. You know, we, we talked about how to do this, how to uh, train these people the right way, you know. And uh, it took us a minute to create it, this uh, uh, platform and bring these people in. My goal was uh, always to um, build top producers. Mm. And uh, so we created this uh, this uh, um, platform, you know, and do all the training. It's not that easy, mm -hmm. you know. It's pretty much twenty four seven. Uh, yeah, so we got these new realtors. We train them, and uh, you know, uh, like I said, we wanted to build these top realtors, and we are doing it so far. Mm -hmm. We're doing amazing. Some of the people that we have, we actually knew before they were realtors, and sat them down and talked to them and said, "Hey." We think you have what it takes to become a realtor. You have to take your classes and do everything to pass the testing and, and so on and so forth. But once you do that, what would you think about coming to our team and being a team player and, you know, being a realtor? And one of them always had wanted to be, but didn't know how to go about it. Mm. And the other one had never thought about it and they're both doing amazing. And that's also to do with your mentorship and your program. Sure. Right. right. So, <clears throat> so there's a, a component in between the, between like official training, mm -hmm. which you have to have to be certified. Mm -hmm. Right. But then there's another element when it's going down to communication. Yes. Right. Communication, yes. communication, communication, and more of and that. More. And more yes. communication. And then also there's, uh, there's some other, um, strategy involved where I know there's guidelines of things that you can and cannot say, but <laughs> yeah, we'll get into that. But No, there's a lot of guidelines mm -hmm. and we make sure that um, 
if they missed up, mm -hmm. they don't do it again. And we explain to them, not only are they not supposed to do that, but why they're not mm -hmm. supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. So they understand, um, don't do that again. Mm -hmm. Um, and they are all pretty good. They're in, they all try their best to comply and we really haven't had any issues. Mm -hmm. Um, they ask a lot of questions and, um, we appreciate that. I'd rather have them ask and not make the mistake than make the mistake and then ask. Um, uh, make the mistake. Especially in your space because yes. the rules are super strict. And, they are. Um, mistakes, like everyone makes mistakes, but um, they don't have to be flagrant if they don't have to be. Right. right. You know, well, in, in yeah. this business, if you make a mistake, it can get, it can get you sued. Right. You can use your license. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that can happen. And we are protective of our people. We don't want that to happen. Right. So we do a lot of training. We do a lot of lunch and learns mm -hmm. so they can learn about different aspects of our business. Um, we have meetings a couple of times every month. Uh, just to keep them up on, you know, where they should be and anything new that came along. Because there's always different rules that are coming, different laws that are passing, and we need to make sure they're they're in compliance and they understand what so, the new so ones are. So who stays on top of those rules? Both of us do. Both of us, you yeah. guys are. Mm -hmm. so, so would you say at this point, um, I know we'll, we'll dive deeper, but your guys' position and your business model now, you're working on the business is set instead of as much as in the business as before, before it was just you two and you're yeah. doing everything. Right. Right. Now, but you're, you're kind of still doing both of it. Right. So you're like hybrid, you're still selling home. We're still active. You're yes. still doing, oh, yes. but then you're also working on yes. the outside of the team and mentoring. So that's, that's interesting because I think we really need to talk about that because some of the businesses that we've talked to, um, we've gone back and forth where um, some of the businesses are 100% working in the business and they can't work on it. Mm -hmm. You know, they're on the outside. So they uh, they struggle with marketing or sure. having spare time to do certain things that can actually enhance their um, visibility, say their networking opportunities, because they're too strapped yeah. inside of the business just trying to make it. I get it. Where you've built kind of a you enjoy doing what you're doing mm -hmm. and you still do that but then you have a team on that kind of complements the outside so but you're always working on it as a team mm -hmm. right so like how do you how did you get to that that spot where um you're at a point where you have you've carved out the time that this is the the secret and like how do you have time to continue to work on and in at the same time. Sure. Because that's the gap that I think a lot of people are looking for. Like, how do you do that? It's not that easy. <laughs> it's it's not that easy. Uh, <laughs> let me go back mm -hmm. and say that uh, at the beginning, we could have taken the easy way mm -hmm. or the hard way. We decided to go the hard way. And when I say easy way, it's like getting the team, uh, build a team with uh, realtors that have experience already. So hire these realtors, you know, with experience and the job for us was going to be a lot easier mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or build a team from scratch, you know? So again, going back to your question, it's not that easy, uh, especially, you know, when we still run in our business uh, and we had to get our, uh, you know, deal with uh, our clients, past clients, 18 years in the business, we have a lot of clients that we had to take care of, plus dealing with uh, uh, our team, you know? which is, uh, like I said, is a 24 hour, 24 seven. It, it really is. When he says that it, 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 he's true to that. It, it really is. It's always seven. on. Yeah. Always. Mm -hmm. When we go on vacation, we're on, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, when we're in the shower, we're on. I mean, it's just, it, we always are available. Um, we do our best to, um, always be available for our people. And it, it is, it's a lot, but it, the return is amazing. It really is. So our, with your team, um, is it kind of the same way? Is that like, are you, have you built like a culture of saying, this is how we operate as a team. You have to be there for your clients. Oh, absolutely. You available for absolutely. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Uh, uh, the whole idea here is to build a team, be a team. 
Not just sometimes, you know, people say, oh, we have a team, mm-hmm. but it's really not a true team. Right. Uh, like, our team is like, you know, we train them right, mm-hmm. do things right. You know, we're like a little family there. Mm-hmm. You know, we help each other with the uh, pro, uh, problems. You know, if we have, if somebody has a problem, we, we do a, a meeting and we put that person on the spot, you know, to say, hey, this is what's going on. So everybody can learn. Mm-hmm. You know, in real estate, uh, everything is me, me, me. Yeah. You know, this team is a whole different story. So that's how it's different. This right. team it's is the we, we, we. It really right. is. Right. In every sense of that word, we are a team. Mm. A um, true team. We have each other's back. Um, we will answer questions um, to each other. If somebody's struggling with something, people will step in and try to help. Mm. Either other team members, we are always there, but um, even other team members will step in and, and see what they can do to help. It's a <clears throat> it's a good team in every sense of that word. Hmm. So um, do you have specific team members that um, do you carve out like kind of superpowers and abilities between some of your teammates? Some of them may be stronger in a certain area or space versus the other. And they kind of help like so if it's certain areas of the business that you use for Say if it's for closings, this person's really efficient. We like to have them there. Mm-hmm. Or do you have like people that have uh, strengths in areas that kind of complement your team, or is everyone kind of like balanced? How do you how do you um, approach that? We we do we do have the ones that have been in our team for for a while now. Mm-hmm. They do help the new ones. Okay, you know we have uh, uh, agents from nineteen years old to I mean uh, they're nineteen and yeah. to thirty. Six years old, and uh, I have one that's in her forties. I can't say which one. It is. <laughs> yeah, but but the, she's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> she's super awesome. So I will say to answer to your question, I will say yes. We have a couple that uh, they 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 know the system. You know, they jump in and help the new ones. Mm-hmm. And like I said, it's all about teamwork. Yes. So and and basically mentorship and some of that succession kind of planning in a way. So as you have other uh, teammates, they rise up, they bring the new ones in to bring them up to speed. Sure. So that takes a little bit of weight off of you guys mm-hmm. too. So yes. you're not doing all of that mentorship all on your own, right? Exactly. We're finally getting some breathing, yeah. some breathing room. Yeah. Um, yes. But it wasn't always like that. No, no, no. no. The, first, right. the first year was a little overwhelming for both of us. Um, we brought on a lot of new agents at once and it, mm. it was a lot. It, it was a lot of questions. It was a lot of meshing with personalities and it was just a lot of learning how each other work. Once we did that, things smooth out a little bit and and they get a little easier. And now we're at a point where we don't have really new people and um, it makes it easier. I think for everybody, Mm -hmm. Um, we have one of our guys is uh, a multimillion dollar producer. He's in the top 50 of, of um, business uh, of the top agents already. That's awesome. He's not even two years in. He's a year and a half. So um, he's a hunter. He is a hunter. Mm-hmm. We have yes. um, a, a one another agent who is. We have several multi million dollar producers already. Um, and uh, the other two that are the newer ones, I would say, will be multi million dollar producers next year. Mm-hmm. We when we started this, the idea was let's bring these new realtors. Mm-hmm. Fresh new realtors, yes. and let's make them successful. So, like, not bringing any bad habits, or exactly. So it's just fresh, yes, clean right. slate, right? Say, and that's why we, des- we operate. Yes. That's why we decided to take the hard way mm-hmm. instead of the easy way. Getting a, a realtors with experience, you know. I wanted to build something new here, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, our goal was, within six months, you had to sell your first million, and we have done it. We have. All of our agents have. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. It's really awesome. That's really awesome. We do have um, Elkhart County's number one team um, and St. Joe as well. Um, And I think I saw some of the, like a metric or something like 
Were you like top 11 in the state or something like top that? 14. Top 14. We are top 14, top 14 in the state. In the state. Yes. Yeah. With the, with the yeah. Remax company. Yes. Yeah. And the Remax company. Yeah. That's, that's big time. Yeah. And, and with the state being with mm -hmm. all of, you know, markets are different between, yes. you know, Indy and, yes. and we're in Northern Indiana. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're in small town USA. Yes. And yeah. so the, the, Let's talk about the challenges with that because um, we're in a different market. Yes. But we do have a lot of waterfront properties and, and I mean, there's a lot of high-end real estate in mm -hmm. this area as well. So um, what, not to leak out all your strategy, but, <laughs> right. you know, I just want to put it all out there. But like, so is there a particular um, type of client you look for? individually like that you want to work with because i know there's been some you may say like hey they may not be the right fit for me or sure. you um i know because we operate that like that sometimes yeah. too because it has to work on both sides it right does. we don't want to waste their time you don't want to waste your time if and it's not a good fit it's, it's not, not a good, good fit, fit. so know? how do you establish that like usually we actually tend to serve the underserved okay um so we have um we have high end and we have lower end. Mm -hmm. We don't treat anyone any different, mm -hmm. but um, we serve the his Hispanic community as well as the English speaking community. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, two different aspects that we work with and um, we, we will help anyone. We have personalities of all different kinds in our office. Mm -hmm. So if it's not a good fit for us, mm -hmm we know who they on might be a good right. fit with and we, right. can, we can pass that's them on smart. to someone else who mm -hmm. will be a better fit for them. Yeah, and that awesome. works out really nice. Mm -hmm. um, we we have a multitude of different personalities. We have some that are very quiet. We have some that are not quiet at all. We have um, everything in between. So, so some of them are crazy like me a little bit. You know? <laughs> some of them, maybe not Just, that much. Maybe but. not that much, yeah. Yeah, that's pushing it. <laughs> Sorry, you know, so, so, so basically what you're saying is you've created diversity yes. across. Mm -hmm. So what's interesting is, um, you do have the ability to interact with the, the Hispanic populace as well. We do. Which that is leverage. Mm -hmm. That's it major is. leverage. It's pretty amazing. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, um, under like, like we're learning more about, um, even with the Hispanic community, mm -hmm. it's um, it's even in the business sector, it's way bigger than most people actually oh, realize. It's huge. Oh, yeah, it's huge. They, it's it's huge. huge. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, so as we're talking on shows like this and, you know, you see some of uh, we, the, for better terms, the Anglo side yeah. versus mm -hmm. Latino yeah. side is though they kind of been segmented out in certain areas where, um, it's not visible on how big the markets are, but they're huge. Right. So, and we've, we've spoken to on, on both sides of things to see mm -hmm. like, wow, how can we bridge this and bring it together? Because there's a lot of opportunity a lot. for a lot of the, the small businesses in the area and, um, teams like you guys went and said, Hey, guess what? We're going to bridge the gap. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. like we're Pretty not much. going to like go this way or that way. No. We're going to serve everyone yes. and we're going to build a team that serves everyone Yes, in, in your niche. So let's talk a little bit about marketing. Okay. okay? Cause <laughs> Ed, <laughs> I know you're a celebrity. Okay. Like we really know Ed. If you're not following Ed right now, on Remax, you should be. You'll see all amazing adventures, and you'll see Cindy too. Yep, <laughs> she she's probably has more spotlight. <laughs> yep, she does. So let's talk about the importance of marketing because you guys do it. Yeah, I mean, like you really do it. Um, has that been like a important factor? I know Remax gives you some tools, but you guys kind of go outside of the box with that. Because you're kind of doing your own thing. You have like Remax as a franchise mm -hmm. will give you like basic tools. Yes. Right. You right. know, yes. basic. But yes. you guys aren't basic. No, right? we're not. You're better. Right. <laughs> way. Just, yeah, way better. <laughs> you're like, yeah, better than that. <laughs> so talk about like what are some of the things that you guys uh, look at that's important in your marketing strategy? I'll let you do this. Well, um, <laughs> 
My degree is in the business and marketing. Okay, there it is. Okay. Um, I also was a, a DJ for a radio station in South America. So I believe in marketing. And I believe that uh, one of the things that you need to do is put yourself out there. You know, your face has to be very important out there. Mm -hmm. You know, and I use uh, Facebook, as you know, a lot. And uh -huh. the whole idea, uh, <clears throat> when people talk about marketing, you talk about a billboard or you talk about a spot on TV, mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's not all about that. Uh huh. And real, and real estate is different. People that will follow you on Facebook will see your, your marketing, you know, your, your uh, spot that you create. But also, you have to show yourself. Yeah, the you know? human aspect yes, of it. Yeah, right. Human. So yeah. if you do that, you're not going to just be throwing things to Facebook saying, okay, here I am, I'm a realtor, buy a house for me. Yeah, right. not you buy, know? buy, buy. Right. right. You're not overselling, you, right? Right. You also throw your face and mm -hmm. say, hey, this is my family, this is what I do, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. People love that kind of Here's stuff. Here's my values. Right. right. People yeah. love that. And I learned that uh, when I was studying uh, uh, marketing, you know, mm -hmm. it's not all about a billboard or a spot on TV. Mm -hmm. It's always about also showing people who you are, mm -hmm. you know, and people like that. So people will say, well, Ed is not there just trying to sell something. No. Ed is out I've there trying to, yeah. to also show who he is, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why I do uh, pictures with clients, you know, or uh, birthday, you know, today's your birthday. Hey, boom. It's not about, hey, buy a house for me. I'll do this for you, you know, right. you know. Mm -hmm. It's a closing. Hey. So and so has a new home, right? And there's the picture, right? I've seen it. And yeah. what I, yeah. And, and if you <laughs> see, congratulations, yeah. yeah. If you see my my uh, when I, when we do closings, mm -hmm. I say, hey, congratulations, blah blah blah. You know, I never say if you're looking for a house, mm -hmm. buy a house for me, right? You know, I don't do that, right? I just say, hey, congratulations to this family. Mm -hmm. We're so glad, we're so happy that you got a house, but I don't go like, and if you want to buy a house, give me a call, right. mm -hmm. you know? So it's more yeah. like personal, more like- So your pitch is more so on the line of become a homeowner. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Mm -hmm. It is. It's possible. And hey, if you need help, we're That's here. what we're right. here for. We're here to help you. Right. So, okay. So when, when I'm looking at all of that and history has go back, like we've done business together yes, too. We have. Mm -hmm. And even in a market when like 2008 was on fire, you know, that <laughs> right. was horrible. It was terrible. That market was <laughs> horrible. But I worked with you guys mm -hmm. on a deal where we said, hey, there was, it was a home that we had that it was hard to sell it. Mm -hmm. And we came out with creative financing. Yes, so you did. guys work with like with some situations there with creative mm -hmm. financing as well to help homeowners either sell or buy their mm -hmm. home. They may be in a situation where, whether it's say their, their credit's not at a certain level, right. or, but there's other options out there. So I think a lot of people get stuck on, hey, I don't, my credit's not where it needs to be. I don't know how to get to the home that I need for my family, right? Right. And um, you guys provide options. We do, right? and right. we can also help them get there. Mm -hmm. They may not be there today, mm -hmm. But in 30 days, we might be able to get them there or 90 <clears throat> days or whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. um, we give them what's called homework. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And um, if they do their homework and they do it well, they'll be ready in, in six months or 90 days or whatever it takes to get them there. And then we can get them their house. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the kind of person that if you come to me, there is never a no answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm the kind of person that if you come to me, I look at the whole scenario right. and see what can I do to help you. Mm -hmm. I'm the kind of person that think outside the box. Right. And me also as a financial planner. Wow, and, marketing, and, <laughs> financial planning. And uh, wow. also I was a, a loan officer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. There so I have a background where somebody comes to me, I can say, okay, I can help you this way or this way or this way. You know, that client... I mean, it has to be a really, really, really bad client yeah. in order for me to say, I'm sorry, but we have to wait for a couple well, of years. It's, it's more so they have to be willing to take the risk yes. and do right. the work yes. to get I what they want. I work with them right? as well. They right. have to but do I, their homework. But I tell them, here's your homework. Mm -hmm. As a financial planner, I'm going to tell you what to do. Now it's going to be up to you 
if you do it. Mm. Now, those that has that really, really bad credit, then, you know, it's going to take some time to fix their right. credit. And know? it may be lifestyle changes. It yes. may be some things that you have to work on you a little bit. Sure. Because even after you get the home, your next home, mm -hmm. are you going to be able to keep it? Exactly. Right. And that's, th those are like lifestyle switch like shifts. So well, and those are things yeah. where we are not just out for a sale. Right. We don't want to sell them a house and three months later they're going into foreclosure. Right. We want we want them to have a home that they're going to live in mm -hmm. and enjoy and not feel pressure every month because their house payment's coming up. So we try not to stretch them too thin mm -hmm. so that they're uncomfortably living. We want them to live comfortable in a house that they're happy with. Mm -hmm. We work with different lenders and uh, I always tell the, the the loan officer, you know, what the situation is yeah. and how can we do it to help them, mm -hmm. you know, and they will make a package, get something ready for them as well. And hey, here's your homework. Mm -hmm. If you do this and this and this, we can get you into this mm -hmm. in three months, six months, a month sometimes, you know. Now, see, that's interesting because I think most people would look at it and say, hey, I just don't qualify for this. Yeah, they mm -hmm. do. And then that's it. They you know? do. And so then they live within whatever the situation they're in. They give up. They just give right. up. They, right. they just give up. They mm. they just need that person to help them. And push know? them just and a little bit them. and let them know that they can do this. Mm. They may have to work a little bit, but they can do it. See, now you just, you tapped into some of my space too with business consulting. Yeah is the same aspect applies to entrepreneurs, small businesses, yes. um, pr business professionals that want to go to the next level. Sure. They have to be willing to do the work. And that doesn't mean that you have this special skill set or whatever it may be. Um, it comes down to the will to want more. Sure. And um, like getting in that mindset of being in a place that I want to be a little bit better. You know, I want to be better than yesterday. Yes. You know, so um, whether you're um, a prospective homeowner or an entrepreneur or a small business, these are all the principles that we deal with in our mind of our own blocks, right? So we're looking at some of these things, even when it comes down to um, in selling, when we're looking at selling, it is a mindset. Absolutely. It is 100%. Hey, who is my audience? Mm hmm so do you guys, I know you handle a lot of the marketing. Um, do you do anything with communication around that track with understanding who the audience, who you're, who you're talking to and making sure like active listening or, you know, like you're listening to what they want, what they need and being able to communicate? I'm the listener. Oh, you're the listener. I'm the listener and Ed is the doer. Okay. So when we talk with people, mm -hmm. um, Sometimes I'll say, well, they said they said they wanted this. And um, we may have heard two different things, but we combined it together then. And it works out really well. Um, we fit well together. His strengths um, are my weaknesses and vice versa. So it, it meshes very well. Um, and I am the one who sometimes will come back and say, no, no, no. They said they wanted this. Mm. And um, we'll get that. And it works out very well. But yes, you have to pay attention. Now, some buyers will say they want this, this, and this, and you send a, you'll sell them a house that is completely the opposite of Sometimes that. Sometimes they don't know what they want. They don't. They mm -hmm. think they do, but they don't. Yep. I will never live in Elkhart and was, we'll sell them a house in Elkhart. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, this one's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're like, wait, what? Yeah. But it happens more than you, mm -hmm. you can imagine. Um, so listening to everything they say is not always a must, but getting down to the facts and kind of wading through what they really what want. What they really want, you right. get You get there. Yeah, you know? so like working backwards here. You say like, what results are you looking for? Yes, and then you can figure out how to get there. Yes. Um, even if it's, um, if I guess if you get down to exactly, oh, you want a pool. Okay. All right. Well, it may be above ground pool. 
right. you may not have a multi-million dollar home with them because you can't afford that. <laughs> right. You know, maybe you have to start with maybe the kid kitty pool. Right. And you got to work at that for a couple of years and say trade up when you're ready. Exactly. You know, so it's it's one of those things is some people have um, a bigger budget in their brain than what they actually have. They want more right. than what they actually can afford or are willing to risk right. at that time. So you guys help focus on aligning that with your risk versus reward factor and say, are you willing to do the work? And are you willing to sacrifice, say, for six months sure. to get what you want? And so those are some things that um, we look at, too, like in, in small businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, so everyone is really busy and busy, 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 but they don't they want to grow, but they don't want to take do the, the work, do the work or take the risk. Yeah. So because we know that risk is uh, created by either you have to pay for it or you have pay for the risk or you have to give up something. Yes. You have to sacrifice. Yes. That's those. Those are the growth elements. Right. You either have to pay for it or sacrifice right. something to get go further. Okay. So, um, so is there like any advice that you could give someone, uh, that is looking to say for their next home and they are out there and they're saying, Hey, I don't know if I can do this. What would be the first thing you would tell them? I will tell them to come see us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, one of the things that made us successful, uh, throughout the years is that, uh, we listen. Mm. We listen to people, you know, and sometimes it's not the right time for them to purchase a house. Uh, you see that they are right on the the line, you know, and it's kind of risky for them to buy a house. We will tell them, we're going to be honest with them and tell them, this is not the right time. Mm. But if you do this and this and this, we can get you there. Mm. So we listen to people, you know, we're not here just to sell you a house. We're here to make sure that you don't make a mistake. Right. Mm. You know, we work with a lot of young people. We do. And uh, I had two young girls and and I want to help these kids because I want to make sure that my kids, somebody will help them, you know, along the way. So I, uh, we help a lot of young kids and we, we give them advice. And sometimes those are uh, uh, things that they don't want to hear, but it's for the best interest, you know, for them later on. Mm. So... I will say, come talk to us, no matter what your situation is, we listen. You you can't imagine how many parents have, you're going to be at the fair, we're going to be at the fair. Mm -hmm. We have had so many parents come to the fair and thank us for talking to their kids, for making them do the right thing. And you can't imagine how many people, when we tell them, this might not be the right time for you to buy a house. They look at you like you've lost like you your mind because them. you're supposed yeah. to be in the business to sell right. a house. Uh -huh. And when you tell them that, they're like, "What?" You know, they're they're shocked. But if you're in this business to do the right thing, sometimes that is the right thing, mm. and you you have to do it. And um, they they will always come back when it is the right time. They will come back because they respect the fact that you did what you did. You didn't put them in a financial situation that they were struggling to get out of. They waited for the right time and now they can do it comfortably. I can 100% vouch for that. Yeah. Our, yeah. our business has changed in the last two, three years. Um, we sell a lot to young people. Yeah. And that is because years ago, we sold houses to the parents. Yes. Now, these kids that we saw, you know, little we ones, little when we were showing yeah. houses, oh, they're wow. purchasing That's houses. That's powerful. So oh. generational yes. right. trust. So yes. now we have wow. young kids, yeah. as young as what, the last uh, 19. 19, 19 years old. Well, we had an 18-year-old too. Wow. Purchasing houses. Yeah. Wow. So these parents, they say, well, go and talk to them. Yeah. You know, they will. And we have a list right now of uh, young kids that they are working on their credit, trying to get to where they need to be. Wow. To so house. you basically have a backlog then. We do. So so basically, instead of people seeking out, okay, I think I just, I, I see your program here. <laughs> I see what's happening now. Like you don't just have people, you may have people come to you looking for a home, but you have a program in place to get uh, future home buyers, mm -hmm. right? In a we position. have we have we have a we have a pipeline also with with a list 
that they're working with either lenders mm. or, or or different companies out there trying to fix their credit. You know, yeah. we tell them what to do. Talk to the uh, professionals. Mm-hmm. This is the person that you need to see. You know, start to get to where you want to be. Yeah. And and so, how did you build that network? How how did that? I know it took a time. It, it takes time. It took years. Yeah, it doesn't and, come over. It doesn't right. happen overnight. I think basically by being honest with people, mm. by telling them today's not your day for a house. Let's wait for six months or a year and then let's revisit this. Things like that make a difference to people. At the end of the day, it's their decision. Yes. Right. We don't, we just, you know, we give them the advice and at the end of the day, they make the decision. They make it, yeah. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Yeah. So to tell everyone listening out there, how to get a hold of you, which you probably know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just, you know, Facebook. But what Maybe. <laughs> just say it. Like, what are the best ways that um to get a hold of uh the right person at sh- for your team? Sure. Like what is the best way? I know they can bomb you with messages, yeah, but that's probably not the best. But you'll answer it. You'll oh, do yeah. it. You'll do it. No, we will. But like what is the best way to really get the most results? Go ahead. Oh, pretty much for me is uh, my phone number. Just pick up the phone. You know, I'm 24/7. Yeah. And when I say 24/7, I will answer phone calls sometimes at 3, yeah. 4 o'clock in the morning because that's when people are going to work. To work. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. and uh, I do that. So he does. Uh, if so you, you guys, a <laughs> couple hours uh, a night. That's about it. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. yeah so uh, <laughs> if they want to get a hold of me uh, or our team, is uh, pretty much my number five seven four nine zero three five nine six six. There it is. That's out twenty four seven. And when I say twenty four seven, it is twenty four seven. And if you are calling for anyone on our team, and you go through Ed, they get to the right person. Right. Hmm. And mm-hmm. uh, like I said, we have a variety of different age groups and, and personalities. We have a a 19 year old who is teaching her people, her age, how to buy homes. Mm -hmm. She calls them into their office. She's amazing. When she gets them, she calls them into her office. They sit for probably an hour to an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And she goes over each step and how things are going to go. So they understand what they're getting into. Then if they decide to proceed, they do. And that was part of our training mm-hmm. from the beginning. I always tell the agents, we're here to help people. Mm. And that's what we do. And we're here to help uh, honestly, you know, and not just to sell a house. Right. That's awesome. Well, thank you guys for so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having us. It's been us. a treat. Thank yes, you so thank much. You. We, we really appreciate it. We do. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next show.